I'm Tanner Agar, CEO of The Chef Shelf, and I'm on a road trip to showcase our incredible chefs. I'm in the trendy West 7th neighborhood of Fort Worth, Texas, with native John Von Elf, who cemented his reputation as a culinary master of wild game. In 2013, he launched a fish house to emphasize wild, seasonal, and most importantly, sustainable seafood. Here we are at Waters, Von Elf's coastal cuisine, and with Chef John Von Elf. How are we doing? I'm doing great. Doing well? Yeah, absolutely. We're excited to be here. We're going to be cooking out his brand new cookbook, Waters, which is going to be available on the Chef Show. So, John, what are we going to start with? All right, today we're going to do something kind of unique. It's a ceviche, but it's a grilled striped bass ceviche. You normally don't think of ceviche as being cooked. No. But uh, I'll show you kind of how we do this. It's pretty simple. It requires a, a little bit of time, but not too complicated. We're going to start with a nice fillet of striped bass. This is a great farm-raised Texas fish. I just season it a little bit with our Waters Bay blend. Okay. We give it a little touch of oil. So it doesn't stick to the grill. We'll lay that across the grill bars here. Let it cook for just a little bit. To be uh, more of a traditional ceviche, it does need to have some, you know, kind of raw fish to it. I just want to get some nice grill marks, char up the outside, and that's how you get some nice, more complex roasted flavor. Now you like using Texas wild striped bass, but uh, what can I use at home if I can't get this? Snapper, grouper, uh, redfish, all those will be great substitutes if you can't find striped bass. Fantastic. So we get just a few little grill marks just to darken it up. That's what I like to see on both sides. Not cooked all the way through, but just a nice little char. Get the beautiful flavor. And you can see how it's still raw in the middle there. That's about the time we're going to pull it off. So that they've got some marks. It's going to go right onto a cutting board. Ideally, I put this in the fridge, let it cool down first. But we're going to go ahead and move right on through. Just going to dice this up into some chunks. That looks beautiful. Yeah, some nice stuff. So if you're doing ceviche, you have to have the freshest possible. I would always say, get the freshest fish, rather than just make sure you find striped bass. Right. Now, we've got our fish right here, some purple onion, and juice from about five limes. You want to really get a nice bath there. Toss it around a little bit, and this needs to sit in the fridge for at least three or four hours, if not overnight. Perfect. So you let it sit overnight. Most of the ceviche yeah. I've had is kind of all in the new. Why are you letting it sit overnight? Well, to me, when you give the lime juice a chance to kind of work on the fish and the onions, it, it tames down some of that heat that the onion has, and it, it kind of cooks the fish just a little bit, gives a little bit better texture. So, at least a few hours in the fridge, and then we're going to discard some of that lime juice that's been sitting all night long. Then we mix up the rest of our ingredients here. We've got a little bit of chopped serrano pepper, that's these guys. A little, little hotter than a jalapeno. I love the spice level on these guys. Got some Roma tomato. Get both of those, make sure you take out the seeds. Yeah, absolutely. If you take the seeds out, you cut down the heat. If you right. want it as hot as possible, leave them all in there. That's totally your call. We're going to give it a nice pinch of salt, a little touch of garlic powder, just for flavor there, ground black pepper, a few freshly torn leaves of cilantro. Just pull those guys. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just like to get a little bit fresh there. And then at the end, I'm going to put a little fresh lime juice in just to make sure we still have that nice bright acidity. Give that guy a quick toss together. Got all those flavors and everything for just a minute. And then we're going to serve that one with some fresh, crisp tortilla chips. Yeah, there we go. So Fantastic. Let's try it. Old striped bass of each Wow. That's how you start the day right there, man. That grill gives it that nice little touch of smoke. Yeah. But it has that wonderful fresh ceviche flavor. Yeah. It's ceviche with just a little more complexity. It's just got a little more fun to it. That's what I like about That's it. That's a wonderful dish. Thank you. Yeah. I'm Tanner from the Chef Show here in Waters with John Bonnell talking about his new cookbook and his spice blend. Thank you so much, Chef. Hey, pleasure's mine. Thanks for coming in. I had a great time today, and um, I can't wait to start cooking out of the book at home. Sounds like a plan. Great.